we wanted to share with you this morning is just to say thank you for being open to what is about to happen in the next few weeks and joining and becoming part of one church, but still being two churches. Now, you know, this is something that Thomas and I had been praying about and talking about for a long, long time. So we're used to the idea, but for you, it's different, it's new. And being open to you may be... For some of you may be like, I'm really excited, I just think this will be really good. For some of you being open may be, oh, I'm not so sure, but we'll see how it goes, you know. But just to thank you for being open and just to let you know that the number one reason why is a genuine belief that what Jesus wants to do in our region has more opportunity to happen if we work together. That's the bottom line. There's so many other reasons that I can share. And just for a few minutes, because I've actually got to rush back and preach another sermon in a minute uh, at our second service, just wanted to share with you a little bit of the heart of Cornerstone. And to do that, I've brought box. <laughs> and the logo uh, for Cornerstone is actually three coloured blocks, one on top of the other. You might have seen it around the place. Uh, but just to say to you, the heart of Cornerstone starts with that red block. That red block stands for Jesus Christ. He is our foundation. He is our cornerstone. And He is the one who changes people's lives. Yeah? And the heart for Cornerstone, as I'm sure it always has been for you guys, and all the more so as we work together, is if one person experiences the life changing power of Jesus, it's worth it. Everything we do is worth it for that one. We believe in the one. It's not about being big or grand or achieving this or achieving that. At the end of the day, the heart of our vision is one person who may have the opportunity for Jesus to change their life. The second block there, the green block, represents the church. The first vision statement is a changed life. The second vision statement is a thriving church. And just believing that the heart of Jesus is for his people to come together and to join their lives together and to come together in community, in relationships, one with another, and to express what he wants to do and who he wants to be together uh, as, a, as a one. And let me tell you, we are definitely not in any way, shape or form planning, planning to come here and run your church with you. Absolutely not far from it. If anything, we want to be a hidden support behind the scenes to do what we can with the, the small tasks, the little tasks behind the scenes, and particularly supporting Thomas and Brooke uh, in their leadership role, so that you can be the church in Bath. And even more so, you can be that green block that is driving and express the life that you have. The small things that we can do, we've started to do a bit of work behind the scenes in the last week or two, a lot of fickly stuff, but it's all about being the thriving church. And the last block there is the blue, and it stands for our region. And the blue, you know, can represent many things. It can represent the bay. You know, we're on the bay. It can represent the ocean. It can represent the work of the Holy Spirit, that we just long for God's Spirit to come into our region and to do a very special work of God. But, you know, the blue just does stand for that. A transformed region is the third vision that we share. And that's probably been the sort of driving heart for Thomas and I and for many of us all the way through is we realise we have the same heart, that we just long for our region to experience God coming and doing his work Amen. among us. And sometimes that means churches continuing to be unique and different and separate and working together at times, but other times it means churches coming together in more of a closer working relationship and that's really what it's all about. So I just thought I'd share that with you. A changed life, a thriving church, a transformed region. That is the heart of Cornerstone, and I'm sure it is the same heart that you have. But it all starts with the red. Jesus Christ. One good person gets changed by him. It's worth it. And that's what makes me tick, you know? It's for the one. Uh, I'm very passionate about one person who needs Jesus. I'm very passionate about one-on-one -on -one relationships. I'm very passionate about small groups and the work God does um, among us. And that's just something that's happened for me, myself and Thomas over three years is we have formed a relationship within the body of Christ 
we have as a unity and a fellowship that we've built over time with each other that has led us to this point. So as I said at the start, thank you for being open to this and we really look forward to hosting you on the 7th and the 14th, the 21st of July, just to spend a little, few little weeks together, just to remind ourselves that we are one before we separate again and just go for it, uh, reaching uh, this whole region for Christ. Amen? Let me pray, and then I'm going to have to scoop off. Yes, Father, we just thank you this morning for the gift of the Lord Jesus Christ that we've been seeing this morning. Lord, here's our victory. Here's our life. But everything we have is because of the grace that you poured out from him. We are completely, Lord, reliant. We are completely trusting in Jesus. Without him, we have absolutely nothing. But, Lord, we want to lift Jesus up in our own lives. We want to lift Jesus up in this community, Lord, even as we're here today in this hall, right in the centre of our soul, we want to proclaim the name of Jesus. And we do pray for the one. We pray for the one person out there, Lord, be it in the wider region of the southwest, or be it here in Bass. We pray for that one person who needs Jesus. That our heart, Lord, would be your heart. That you, Lord Jesus, are the one who goes after the lost sheep, the one who's away. And Lord, far be it from us to try to be you. <laughs> but Lord, may we be joining you. May we be vessels of what you are doing. And whatever way that looks like for me, for each of us, whatever, whatever that looks like, in our know, unique being, Lord, may your grace, may your Holy Spirit be at work, we pray. And I just want to pray a blessing upon this beautiful church, Lord, this beautiful gathering of believers. We thank you that this blessing we have is based on the Trinity, it's based on who you are, that we are an expression of the unity in the relationship of God. And I just pray a greater blessing, a greater depth of relationship, a greater unity, a greater closeness, a greater expression of love, a greater expression of worship, a greater expression of growth and transformation upon this group we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Awesome to be here. I might just sit for a few minutes because I just want to feel what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to disappear. It's a good Awesome. But I just want to say a quick prayer of blessing. I think blessings are empower, uh, very powerful. Uh, we were at the prayer meeting this morning, so I know, you know, we're praying and we're thinking, oh, I've got another new person at church, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about um, what's going on and things. And I just felt in my heart, we really need to bless the cornerstone possible. So we have the power to do that because it's great. Let's, let's join together and I'll put my hand on uh, Lee and on behalf of us. Lord, we bless Pastor Lee. We bless him as he goes back to preach again. May your grace be on him. May he just be buzzing in the things of you and in your spirit, Lord, as he shares your word. Let it just open up and be beautifully poured out on the congregation over there as they meet. And Lord, we bless Cornerstone Apostle in general. May they thrive. May they flourish. May they grow. May people find Christ there regularly. May you move uh, like you've never moved before. We bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Cool. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Kids Church, you want to go out now? We're going to sing just one more song. It's a throwback. Uh, just to really worship.